Hi guys, this is lesson number 70 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to print bulk of ID card using Excel data sheet and print merge feature in Coral Draw. To do that, you need to type all the student record in Excel. Then you need to save it as CSV, comma separated value file. And then you can import in Coral Draw using print merge feature. As you can see in my screen, previously we created this student ID card. If you want to know how to create this design layout, you can go to exercise number 69. You can watch that lesson. Here in our card, we have student name, class, date of birth, address, and mobile number. And this is what all I type in Excel. As you can see here, student name, date of birth, class, address, and mobile number. And I have here four students record. In order to use print merge feature in Coral Draw, we will save this Excel data sheet in CSV format. So simply click on file, save as. I'm going to save on desktop. Here I have folder project files. Save as type CSV comma delimited. Click it. File name is okay. Same. And then click on save. Switch back to the Coral Draw. Click on file. And here we have print merge. Point to print merge and then click on create load print merge. Print merge dialog box is open and here we have option import file. Click on import file. Our file is on the desktop. Click on desktop. Project files. And here we cannot see the file because extension is not the same. So we need to click on this drop down and choose comma separated file. Here is the file recently we saved. Click it and click on open. As you can see the same student's record, it's appeared here. Simply click on finish. Once I will click on finish, Excel will open one another dialog box that is having all the entries. Now simply click on each and click insert selected field. So here we have student name, date of birth, class, address, and mobile number. Now we can resize select all the text around 9 and we can place it all right now select all the text and press L to make left alignment and fill it with white color now we have two option here, perform print merge. If I will click on perform print merge directly, Coral Draw will print each card on the single paper. And if I will click on merge to new document, Coral Draw will create one new document with each card on a separate page. Before we do that, as you can see here, we have image, we have picture. I will share with you a special trick that you can use to import each student picture easily in your Coral Draw document. For that thing, I am going to delete this image. This is clipped inside rectangular shape and we are going to create simple shape here. Create rectangular box, outline color, size, and here we have roundness, 0.1 I can give. All what you need to do is to convert this shape to picture box, picture frame. To do that, we need to right click and go to frame type and click on create empty power clip frame. We need to do it first before we perform print merge. So it will appear on each card. What is the advantage of this? Once you will import multiple images, all what you have to do just slightly drag on this frame. So Coral Draw will clip the image inside frame. Now our picture box is already there. And we are going to click on merge to new document. If you want to print, you can 
click on perform print merge. But since we need to add picture, so we will click on merge to new document. Corel Draw created new document named print merge 1 and having 4 page. If I will zoom, you can see that on the page 1, the first student record Oliver, Amelia, William and Sophia. You can see on each card we have picture frame. Now we are going to import the image. Go to the first page. Click on file. Import. For demonstration purpose I just saved four clip art. Two for boy and two for girl. In your case you will save the student's picture. And you need to name with the same number sequence the way you have record in Excel sheet. You can see the first one is Oliver, so 1 Oliver, 2 Amelia, 3 William, 4 Sophia and same thing we have here in Excel data sheet. What is the advantage of this? You can import all picture together and Corel Draw will maintain the number sequence the way you have in your print merge file. So I'm going to select these all pictures and click on import. As you can see that with my mouse pointer the Oliver name appears one Oliver JPEG and this card is for Oliver. So simply I need to drag on this frame this way. That's it. Now go to the next page. Your mouse is loaded with the Amelia image and this card is for Amelia. Click and drag. Go to the third page. William. Click on fourth page and with our mouse pointer it shows this images for Sophia. Just click and drag. Now we place the image in front of the picture frame. Go back to the first page and here you need to slightly drag the image so it will be clipped inside picture frame. We can close print merge dialog box. Select the picture and click and slightly drag. Now it goes inside, but the problem it is not center. It's okay, you can click here, fit content drop down and choose center. That's all. Now go to the next page. Okay, click on the picture and slightly drag. Now power clip feature is active. Click on center. Go to the third. Click and drag and click on center fourth center the image. So this is how easily we can import multiple image with this technique. Using print merge feature you can save your time and with a single click as many card you want you can prepare and print. Paper size it depends on your printer specification but commonly we are using A4 size paper. You can see here. The video is for demonstration and learning purpose that's why I have only four students record. You can prepare Excel data sheet even with 100 students and once you will import in Corel Draw using print merge feature, same way Corel Draw will create even 100 pages but the process once you will perform the print merge, it might be quite slow depending on the number of the pages. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.